Good morning, I'm Brooke Hapes. The student accused of stabbing a school resource officer at Oshkosh West High School has requested a new location for his trial. 17-year-old Grant Furman is charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide. He's accused of stabbing officer Mike Wissink in December. Furman is due back in court later this month. State officials reported the first confirmed cases of coronavirus here in northeast Wisconsin. Both of those cases are in Fond du Lac County. The Department of Health Services says both patients were exposed while traveling, one out of the country, the other here in the U.S. One patient is hospitalized, the other is at home. St. Norbert College announced they're suspending in-person classes. This won't go into effect until tomorrow afternoon for the start of spring break. Campus officials say they're turning to online and alternative teaching methods. UW Green Bay announced they were also suspending in-person classes after spring break. Most classes will be conducted online for at least a week. Students are also being asked not to return to campus following their spring break until further notice. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish with rain rolling into the area. We're going to see that kind of on and off throughout the day, maybe a little bit more. As you head towards like Shawano, maybe parts of Langley, there's northern Okana, Wapaka, where it kind of hangs up for a little bit. And then it gets kind of showery for the rest of us this afternoon, going into the evening as well. Now, as far as rainfall totals, for many of us, not the biggest rainmaker like Green Bay, Appleton, a quarter inch or so, but a little bit more, maybe over a half an inch as you head off to the north and west, rain that we really don't need. But at least it comes with some milder temperatures and wind, 48 degrees for us. As far as tonight is concerned, if there's any evening rain out there, it's going to come to an end before 9 o'clock. And then as far as tomorrow, 42, windy, cooler, mostly sunny. At least that sunshine is back. And then as far as the weekend is concerned, keeping it completely dry. Temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40, and that is close to average. Now, you can check the radar whenever you want on our news app. It's free in your app store.